There's the UFO. That's a metro station. <laughs> no, I'm not coming to America. No, thanks. That's a metro station. So, let me message. That might actually be. I don't know what he looks like, so hold on. Message. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see. Probably really close somewhere. Hello. I'm on live right now, so. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You mind being on live? Yeah, normal. No? Normal? Yeah. Hey. What's up, guys? Meet up with somebody here. Mm -hmm. So you want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Hussein. I came from Sudan and Saudi Arabia, like mixed from both countries. I came here to study in Russia. Cool. Yeah. I was showing them the mosque over there from across the street. The mosque? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah? You guys want to see the mosque? We can walk over there. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a walk. Let me switch the view, guys. I'm going to put you guys over on the, uh, the flip to the front. So, so how are you doing? Well, I'm fine. I just came from the university. We had a so like hard day. I'm studying in English here, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of hard. I didn't accept that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But actually, the studying here is very impressive, like very good. You want a microphone? You mind being on the live? I don't mind that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to give him a microphone. Hold on. You hold that for a second? Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't think I have a second magnet, though. I didn't know. I didn't bring my other magnet, too. You got to hold it. Yeah, like this, right? Yeah, I just hold it. Is it connected? I see. Yep, he's connected. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't bring him a magnet, but... He has a microphone. <laughs> yeah, I, I brought the, <laughs> I need to put the other magnet in my bag. But, um, so you can hear uh, Hassan or Hussein? Hussein. Okay, this is Hussein, not Saddam. Yeah. No? <laughs> no? <laughs> it was not. No, okay. No, when I was in uh, Jordan, I had quite a few friends. Their name were Uzbekistan and SNG, basically. The, so, the Muslims, you know? Uh -huh. They asked me, like, how to pray like this. Ask me the correct way how to pray and this stuff, because they have different here. They came like uh, the Islam's came to them, but not full. So there's a lot of uh, stuff that is missing here. A lot of them are from the republics here in Turkey and Syria. Yeah. So usually they pray here in the Friday, every Friday. Yeah, two thousand U.S. dollars a year. That's for a foreign price. Yeah. Mm. And there are some people here that if they don't get places and they want to go without a place, they can pay. But $2,000 is about a normal price here for foreigners. So they're not going to ban TikTok. You can jump in anytime again. I'm just checking the questions once in a while. So we're going to go over and cross the street. So what are you studying here? Uh, medical student. Medical. Yeah. Most of the people I've met here from Middle East or Africa are medical students. Yeah, most of them, but uh, can say that uh, here it's everything is perfect except the practice in the hospitals, to be honest. Uh -huh. Because uh, usually we are studying in English, so they don't care about us a lot, like uh, the people who study in Russian language. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem, to be honest, but uh, still that I had knowledge from uh, here. So do you plan to go back somewhere when you're done or? Well, uh, I didn't think about it yet, but uh, I want to go somewhere else except Saudi Arabia. I want to discover the And I recommend walls. traveling here? Absolutely. It's very safe here. Mm -hmm. I don't course. think we can't film inside the gates, so I don't want to go inside the gates. Yeah, they're kind of strict. I don't know why, yeah. but... But we can, we can walk around the front. Mm -hmm. Let's walk around this way then. So you don't know where you want to go, though? Stay in Russia, well, but no? Maybe I would maybe? stay. I don't know be honest but uh, I recommended all my friends to come here to okay. study with me that's good yeah even there's a lot of Saudis studying here even mm -hmm. in the college like a military college here also oh yeah I know there's there's tons yeah so that's more interesting in fact um, the uh, place we live in was rented out to Saudis before we came 
mm. Saudi students studying to be officers. So here's the front of the mosque. I'm going to walk over towards the street so you guys can get a better view. It's like uh, Uzbek style. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Come to Russia now, it's perfectly safe. You'll be safer here than you will be in London or Paris or New York or <laughs> anywhere else. So guys, I'll probably wrap it up after we walk around the mosque here and then come back a bit later so I can hang with Hussein here a bit. I gotta remember to put a magnet in my bag so I don't have somebody else with me and they don't have to carry the microphone around. Yeah, that's what they say I did, but it didn't happen because I wasn't even in the United States in November 2006. Kind of hard to kidnap somebody when you're not even in the country. Not to mention that person's 28 and said it never happened. About uh, spending money here in Russia, I can say that I spent only $400 and it's so $400. here. Four hundred dollars only. Let's talk about that real quickly, and then I'll end the last. So let me flip the camera back. Mm -hmm. So what he's saying is, yeah, because I want people to hear about expenses. Mm -hmm. Oh no, flip again. And in fact, I'm starting a podcast, so I'll talk to you about that later. But I want to see if you want to be on the podcast too. Mm -hmm. no okay. Problem. Did we? Okay. Yeah. About spending money here for me, I spent only four hundred dollars, and it's enough actually. And uh, I can buy what I want, like clothes. I can eat uh, even from restaurant. And I can, I can cook, I can go even to clubs if I want, you know, and uh, it's enough, to be honest. I, if I need more, of course, uh, if there's something like more expensive, if I want to travel to another city, yeah, maybe, but uh, it's enough still. And what kind of housing do you live in? Do you live in a dormitory or? Dormitory, yeah. It so uh, cost me $180 in the whole semester. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. So wow, he pays uh, the semester is like four months or six months here? Uh, the first uh, semester is like four months and the okay. second semester is like almost five months. Okay, so for basically five months he pays $180 to live in a dormitory mm -hmm. and then otherwise he spends about $400 a month and has a pretty good, pretty good time. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. And so what, what's a dormitory like? you have a private room or you share a room? Well, it's share room with my roommate. He's mm -hmm. from Yemen. So we have, uh, we can design the room as we want and uh, we can bring who we want as a guest. There's a time, of course, for guests and uh, also the only problem on my dormitory, that's the only dormitory maybe in this city that is closed at 12 uh, a.m. Ah, at midnight. Yeah. So it's easy. It's not a problem. Also, if you came late, uh, the guard uh, will open the door. So it isn't a problem, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good thing here. Cool. Well, thanks for this. So what I'm going to do is, if he's cool about it, I am starting a podcast, so I'll have him as one of my guests, and I'd definitely like to talk more about that. But for now, mm -hmm. I'm going to drop the live, and we're going to go have some tea or coffee or something. Yeah. Okay? Of course. <laughs> paka, paka. See you guys. <laughs> okay. What's your name?